Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today we're checking out a new control surface from Solid State Logic, as well as their 360 degree ecosystem. Let's get started. We've got a lot to talk about today. We're going to be looking at the new UF1 control surface from SSL, their new meter plugin, as well as the entire 360 degree ecosystem they've created that basically allows you to have a virtual SSL console both at your fingertips and inside your computer. So to give you the rundown, what I've got going on today is inside my MacBook Pro, I've got Studio One running with a session. My interface is an SSL 12, which as we'll see also incorporates into this whole ecosystem. I've got a UF8, which is an eight fader system that allows me to have complete control over the mixer. I've got the UC1 that allows you direct hands-on control over SSL's channel strip and bus compressor plugins. And then I've got the new UF1, which serves as both a single fader control surface and also sort of as the central hub for everything that's happening. We can do a lot with all these control surfaces. And what brings it all together is the 360 degree software, which we'll look at in just a second. First, let's turn our attention to the UF1 control surface right here in front of me. Now, as you can see, it matches up perfectly with the UF8 and the UC1. You can set it up at whatever angle you want, as you can with the other units as well. There are like six different angles you can set this at using the legs on the back, or you can lay it flat on your desk. As far as controls go, of course, we've got the large single fader here solo, cut, or mute, and select for that. We've got flip, which allows you to use that fader to either do sends or pan or some other parameter. And then we can also lock that to the master fader in certain software. The SSL system has profiles built in for Cubase, Pro Tools, Ableton Live, Luna, Reaper, Logic, and Studio One, which is what I'm using here today. And in fact, you can have three of those DAWs running simultaneously and switch among them on different layers using the 360 degree ecosystem. Getting back to the UF1, we've got a pan control here. We've got a screen which shows us what's happening with the different settings. Then in this section over here, we have transport controls across the bottom. We have a secondary set of controls here. Now, for example, the way they're configured right now, this turns a loop on and off inside Studio One when I hit the loop button. It turns the metronome on and off, or the click on and off when I hit this one. In this case, we're opening up whatever plugin is on that particular channel. We can also clear solos. And we've got a shift key. Now, this shift key turns these into automation controls. So we're on off. We can set that to read, as you can see on the verb channel there on my screen. Right, trim, latch, and touch, or we can turn automation back off. The large wheel here in the center is a jog scrub wheel for navigating within your session. And these five controls here do dual duty. Up, down, side to side will take you through the different channels. And if we illuminate by pressing the center button, now we can zoom in on our tracks when we're editing. This rotary encoder here in the center can serve multiple functions for us. For example, right now, it's set to scroll us through the channels in our mixer. We can choose other settings. For example, we can put that to focus. Now in focus mode, when we hover the mouse over any of the parameters, for example, I'm over the verb level there. Now when I turn this, we're changing the level of the verb send. If I move down here, I can hover it over the fader. And now I'm moving the fader. Now, of course, we have the faders. I don't know why you do that, but you get the point. Any rotary parameter can be adjusted using that when it's in focus mode just by hovering the cursor over the parameter that you want. And we can also press that again, and we can set this to volume. Now, if I were using this with the Macintosh's native onboard sound output through the speakers that are built in or the headphone output, this would actually adjust the volume level for that. Since I'm using the SSL 12 interface, it's not doing that because we're going through the SSL 12 interface. But for controlling onboard volume, if you're working remotely, you don't have an interface hooked up, this is a great way to set the overall master volume. We've got eight switches here in the center. Left to right moves us through banks of channels. 360 degrees opens up the 360 degree software from SSL. And again, we're going to come back to that a little bit later. Scrub allows us to scrub when we're locating within our session. The mode switch determines what these four controls under the screen are actually accessing. So right now we're in pan mode. And when I turn this, for example, for acoustic guitar, we're changing the pan on that particular channel. Now we can move to the next set of channels. We can also bank over and adjust the settings there as well. So that's a quick way to access pan. Now if we push this mode button again, we go to fader. Now in this case, we're controlling the fader level for those four channels. Again, we can access the next four in the bank. So we can bank back over. If 
if we push mode again, we open up the new meter plugin. Now this is very cool. So I've got the meter plugin here on the output of my session. So if we open that up, we can see it. If we push play. Again, sweeter things are in the air. Happiness is everywhere. You'll see that on the screen, in the meter window, we've got a 31 band EQ, we've got VU meters, we've got a phase meter, we've got lots of information coming at us. But the really cool thing is the large screen on the UF-1 shows you that exact same information. Yeah. Sweeter things are in the air, happiness is everywhere. But the really great thing is, we don't even need to have that plug-in window open on our screen. We can close that here. And when we're in this mode, that exact same information is displayed right on this large screen on the UF-1 itself. Yeah. Things in the Push the button to access the different views. That's super cool. You can really keep an eye on what's happening with your mix without having to have a window cluttering up your screen. If we go back to pan or fader mode, you see we have four soft keys here at the top of the UF-1, and their functions are labeled here at the top of the screen. So when we hit those, we'll jump to that particular function. For example, we could move to another bank of commands, hit buses, and we'll be jumping right to our buses. I jumped right to the drum bus there. If we go back, we can select all tracks, and now I'm moving along my tracks. We can move over. Functions are record arm, undo, cancel, enter, shift, option, control, alt. So those are our modifier keys like we'd have on our computer keyboard. There are 10 different groups of commands that you can assign to those four soft keys, and you set those up inside the 360 degree software. So this gives you instant access to a lot of commands right there inside the UF-1, right at your fingertips. Now we've just scratched the surface of all that you can do here. There are a lot of details, there's a lot of depth to this controller, but it really does allow you to sit with just this one piece of gear and get hands-on with what's happening inside your DAW. Now when we combine that with the UC-1 and the UF-8, we get even more options. We can have up to a total of four UF-8s, we can have one UF-1 and one UC-1, so that gives us plug-in control, that gives us sort of master control here, and then that gives us up to 32 channels of control over our mixer here. So I've got eight channels that are accessible here on the UF-8. I can bank through those, I can scroll through those using the channel control. Of course, I can do the same thing with the UF-8. One, I can do the same thing with the UC one as well, so I can choose channels here. Now the three pieces can operate sort of interconnectedly, or you can use them almost independently. So for example, I've got this set up for my mixer. You can see I've got my different tracks here. This is the first acoustic guitar track. I can pan that using this. I've got fader control, solo, mute, and so on. I can also access my send levels for that particular channel. Push that again. There's my verb, for example. Push again. Here's my delay send on this, so all that is instantly accessible. I encourage you to check out my complete demo video where we went really in-depth with the UF-8. You can find the link for that in the description below. Now the UC-1 is a dedicated plug-in controller for SSL's native Channel Strip 2, their new 4000B Channel Strip, as well as their native bus compressor, which is so cool. That's an emulation of the original bus compressor found in SSL's analog consoles. So if we open up a plug-in, for example, we can actually use the UF-8 to do that. Here we've got the native channel strip 2 that's actually running on our acoustic guitar and stereo. Now we have control over all of the features and all the functions here using these knobs. So this is the EQ side. If we reach over here, we've got the dynamic side of the equation happening here. So we can take total hands-on control over that plug-in. We can also access up to eight different bus compressors that are running inside our session. So for example, here on my drum bus, I have the bus compressor happening, and I can access that here. Now I can switch down by clicking here and choose the main bus compressor, which is over here. I don't even need to have it open. In fact, right now, as I'm adjusting this, I'm adjusting that particular plug-in. But we can open that up to see what's happening as we're making our changes. But that's really the beauty of this system is you don't have to have the plugins open. You don't have to have the mixer open. You can be doing it all right here on these hardware controllers, and it really is very much like working on an analog console as you're doing that. Once again, I'll recommend that you take a look at my deep dive demo where I went through the UC1, all the different features, and everything you can do with that. Again, the link will be in the description below. Now, so far, we've been looking at what you can do with the UF-8, 
the UF1 and the UC1 when you're working inside your DAW. But this is only part of the equation. The rest of the equation that really brings all this together is the 360 degree software from SSL. Now that's free software and it covers all three of these units as well as the SSL12 audio interface. So let's switch over to that. There are a number of different ways we can do that of course. We can do it on the computer. If we do it from the UF8, we'll open up the UF8 control page. If we do it from the UF1, we'll open up the UF1 control page and we'll come back to those. If we do it from the UC1, we'll jump right to what's called the plug-in mixer. Now the plug-in mixer shows us basically all of the channels in our DAW and it also shows you any plugins that we have set there. So I've got channel strips and 4000B channel strips loaded into every channel in my DAW session. And they're showing up here in the plug-in mixer. Now when working in this view, it's basically like sitting at an SSL console. So in fact, we can hide the bus compressors to see even more channels. So you can see here, beginning with my acoustic guitar, this is the exact same channel that's inside my DAW, but you can see I've got the dynamics, I've got the EQ, and so on. And as I make adjustments, you can see that I'm doing that right inside here. So this is just like looking at an SSL console. You can set up the routing for the channel strip plug-in here. We've got our channel numbers, dynamics, EQ, as I mentioned, the channel name. We've got pan, width control. We can solo. If we pop back over to the mixer, you can see that we've soloed. If we unsolo that here, go back over to the mixer. We've unsoloed there as well. We've cleared the solo. We can pop back, we've got mute, you can solo safe channels, you can do side chain listen for the dynamics. So you've got complete control over everything that's happening inside the mixer as well as the plugins right here inside the 360 degree software. It's a super cool way to work. Now with the UC1, we can also open up and see our bus compressors. So again, we've got eight of those that are available. You can see I'm on the main one here, but if we press, we can scroll to switch to the drum compressor. You can also see We've got our meter plug-in running here. So if we play our session. Sweeter things are in the air. Happiness is everywhere. That shows up there as well. But we don't stop there. We've also got complete control over our SSL12 audio interface. So if we click there, we can see our four input channels. We've got our two headphone mixes. So we can control those from right here inside the software. We've got what's going out of our line three and four outputs. We've got our main mix as far as monitoring the inputs, our talk back, our output section here, all of our settings. We can set up the function of the different switches that are on the face of the SSL12 right here from within the software too. Now that control also extends to the UF8 and the UF1. So we have separate pages for setting up those. So let's choose the UF8. We can also do it by hitting the button here on the front panel. And this is where we can set up all those soft key functions. So we've got all these different soft keys, we've got quick keys, and we can assign the functions of those right here. So just click, and now we can choose whatever function we want within our DAW and apply it to those soft keys. And again, we have multiple banks, so we can move among the different banks of those. We've also got the three quick keys on the upper left of the UF8. We can assign those to whatever we want. We have two foot switch inputs. We can assign those to however we want. We can set up transport if we want. Of course, in my case, I've got the UF1, which has the transport controls right here. Now, we can also choose to either click there or hit the UF1 360 degree button, and that takes us to its configuration screen. So again, we've got our soft keys, those four soft keys at the top. We've got 10 banks of those, so 40 different settings. Again, we can choose whatever we want for those, moving through our banks. We've got our secondary transport controls. That's this row of controls here. So we can assign what we want those to be. We've got two foot switch inputs on the UF1. We can assign those as well. And again, the transport controls as well. Now you remember that I told you you could have three different DAWs connected simultaneously and you access those using three different layers. So let's use the UF8 as our example here. On layer one, I've got DAW1, which is Studio One, the DAW that I'm running. And I can switch between that by hitting the 360 degree switch. That takes me from the DAW to the setup screen for the UF8. Now, it'd be more useful if I could actually switch to the plug-in mixer. So let's actually set this up so that when I'm on layer one, I go from studio one to the configuration screen, but on layer two, I'm going between studio one and the plug-in mixer that's inside the 360 degree software. So that takes me quickly back and forth. I can do the same thing here with the UC1, and we can do the same thing 
with the UF one as well. So when you have multiple units, you have multiple places, you can do many of the same kinds of things, but the result is the same. We can very quickly move among the DAW, the 360 degree software, the plug-in mixer, our plugins, we can open those up. I've got those set up here so that they open right up. When we hit our buttons, whatever track you have selected, we'll open up the plug-in for that. Very convenient, very fast to get hands-on. And again, when we're in that 360 degree software looking at the plug-in mixer, it's just so much like looking at an SSL console, and it's actually a mix in this case. We've got our regular native channel strip 2, and then we've got the 4000B channel strip here. So we have both those flavors available depending on what you've loaded into your DAW. Now we've covered a ton of information here. It's really just a taste of what you can do with this whole integrated system running under the 360 degree software. We've looked at the SSL 12, which is the audio interface. We've looked at the UF8, which I think of as sort of the mixer control surface. We've looked at the UC1, which is the plug-in control surface, and we've looked at the brand new UF1, as well as the meter plug-in, that sort of gives us an overview of everything that's happening and serves as a single fader controller as well when it's on its own. Now you can mix and match these components however you like. You could have just the UF1, you could have just the UC1, just the UF8, or any combination. These two together would give you plug-in control, and in fact extended plug-in control, because you can route some of that over to the UF1. We could have up to four UF8s for a huge console. A lot of versatility there, and it's all brought together by that 360 degree software. As I mentioned, we've talked about a lot today, so be sure to head over to Sweetwater.com. There's information on each of these products on their individual product pages, as well as all of the other fantastic products from SSL. But a better solution is to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. They're going to give you complete information on which of these components are going to be the best ones for your studio and your workflow, because that's really what it's all about. This is all about optimizing your workflow so you can get to business and make music. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this, or start at Sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.